helpful way. Sometimes my talks are more like direct in a sense, like and if, at whatever hat level that hits home, it's fine. But a lot of times when I speak like this, when it's more like grandiose, when it's more like immediate, like come on already, or like you know just do it, you can or whatever, it's it can have a transmission effect that actually a lot of people can adopt, can soak in, and they love it and they expand from it, and it allows them to shift many definitions all at once, mm -hmm. right? So I see great value in speaking like that. And at the same time, when it comes to those more focused experiences that you can't seem to get rid of, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely investigate what are the definitions. But also one of the core set of definitions that I always encourage people to look at first is definitions regarding the limitation of your enlightenment, how long it will take you to become enlightened, uh, what all is required before you can live in an empowered way. Those things that sort of draw the process out into a negative, long, suspended thing. If we get rid of those first, and one of the ways to do that is to speak like I just did, and also to investigate. When we do that first, in a sense, when we address those negative points of view, then the complexity becomes more complex, but on a higher level, and we can still investigate those ideas. But at least we'll feel empowered and free and so it will go faster it's simply a way to accelerate the process not to take away the learning curve of complex uh, complexity and there is a greater and greater and greater complexity so every time in a sense that you bump yourself up a frequency level which is another way of saying you're happier more embodied in your happiness more confident in your joy every time you do that you step it up a notch, the frequency amps up, and as a result, because of the frequency amping up, quite literally, you can see frequency as wavelengths, right? So if you're a little slow frequency, then within two second time frame, within your, let's say a one second time frame, you experience maybe, whatever, three waves, three up and down points of information. When you've investigated that or jumped free from that, jumped into greater joy and faith and bliss and infinity, you step it up a bunch, and what happens is your frequency increases. So within the same, what other people experience as a second, you experience 10 seconds. You experience 30 data points. So you can imagine the complexity that appears every time you step it up a notch. So first of all, don't ever feel like I'm taking away complexity because I'm adding to it, but in a way that you can actually handle, in a way that you can actually be joyful about it. Complexity for me is another way of saying you become more skilled at being consciousness in a body. You become more awake. You become more efficient. You become more fluid. And definitely to attract some degree of paradox and complexity to oneself is a sure way to explore and embody that type of energy, that type of skillfulness, that type of awareness and gentleness at the same time. Definitely, definitely look at your definitions. How are you generating what you're generating? What are you believing in for sure? I think that there, for me that there's a, like a level of sensitivity mm -hmm. in awareness. Yes. that I want to bring personally um, to that process and on my own path. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to forget about that, about that part for myself. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to oversimplify it so that I lose sight of it, so that I think I'm fully self-realized when mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. I have all these little things that are still snagging me. That's so cool. And I imagine that you know, you and I both all, like all of us will always, perhaps, or maybe not, have a lot of little snags and I want to bring sensitivity to sure to um to the process of looking at that. That's beautiful. So, so what what do you feel um if you don't mind me asking, what do you feel you could be how do you feel or what do you feel you could be lacking if you would let's say come to my meetings too often or I would talk just like this. And let's say you got absorbed in that type of energy. What do you project how how do you project that could somehow lack that sensitivity for you or make you forget where you're coming from or what your intention is do you do you first of all do you really believe that could happen do i believe that i could lack that you could lose what's truly valuable to you no okay so you, do you believe that the gentleness or however you wish to word that quality which you want to want to bring about in your actions and your work and your relationships that quality do you think that you can lack that you think you can lose that yeah. if you go too high or far or deep or immediate or confident? No. Okay. No, I just, I, um, I don't feel that. I just wanted to bring, I wanted to shine light on it because mm -hmm. it felt really alive mm -hmm. and sort of like glaringly like missing mm -hmm. from just the way you were talking today. Uh -huh. And I've heard you talk lots of times 
where you pointed to it. Mm -hmm. So right. Okay. Well, thank you for adding to the overall spectrum of <laughs> humanity's desire to experience this thing in all kinds of different ways. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There is definitely something that I'm trying to get out here, and I'm not quite getting it. Uh huh. But that's okay. And you want to get it? Kind of want to get it. Okay. What is it? It's exciting. Have you already mentioned it, or have you been next to it but not on it? Have you mentioned it? Like, have you noted it yet? And have I simply not responded in a way that's conducive? Mm. Or have you not mentioned it yet? So, um... <laughs> what are you thinking? My sense is that moving from I am this mm -hmm. to I am mm -hmm. is a much more rigorous process. A rigorous process? Uh-huh. Then... It, rigorous, like in an exciting way, rigorous and okay. there's like so much to uncover in looking at our beliefs and our definitions. Mm -hmm. then, then I make it sound. Yeah. Then okay. it's like, <laughs> then just like you move from this and then to this <laughs> and then you're an infinity and woo, you did it. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. well, <laughs> I'm not meaning to be a jerk right no, now. No, no, so dear one. I got like an hour and a half, two hours to explain this, you know, so that's. That's why I make it sound like that, but yeah. Totally, there is... <laughs> well, in a sense, you know, at least the glimpsing of it can be very immediate. Like glimpsing, just sort of like jumping through all these levels. I'm not saying fully embodying and integrating, but at least glimpsing these things can be done in one single guided meditation that's effective for you. So in that sense, it doesn't make sense to me to make it sound more complicated or limited than it is. And at the same time, I do agree that... Um, in everyday life, and for the average person, which is almost everyone, yes, to really like embody and really shift those identities gradually, or not gradually, but like fully, really does require some attention. It requires some sincerity, it requires some investigation, requires some love and gentleness, it requires some processing. But the glimpsing of it does not necessarily require processing. And which it can be helpful so that we can open up those gateways and then we have a greater perspective from which to actually address those things that need addressing in order for us to fully, frequency-wise, let go of those things that are unwanted, that are sort of unnecessary, and become more of the frequency that is completely conducive to being a channel to all of that that's integrated and embodied. I agree there is work to be done on that level, and there is love and gentleness to be brought to ourselves, for sure. It's about, like, um, just about being honest with ourselves. Totally. Always. Always. Otherwise, you don't care about your life. Totally. That honesty is really rich to me. Mm. That's beautiful. Thank so, you for sharing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry if I was a jerk. You were a jerk? You were not a jerk. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen jerks. You're not one of them. I am one sometimes. You were very gentle. Thank you. And I'm sure some people got something out of that as well. So. <laughs>